23 people spent more than $700 million while visiting the Thousand Islands region. Data that has come out from New York State. 7 News reporter Sandy Torres catches up on the Labor Day with a family that is visiting Clayton and has for years and then with another family that's out spending money in the local economy for the first time. We decided to do a little road trip with our new baby, um, so it's his first time out of Canada. Meet Courtney, Justin, and baby Jacob. Say hi. His family is visiting Clayton for the first time from Peterborough, Ontario, taking the ferry across from Wolf Island to Cape Vincent. Just wanted to come to Clayton. It's a good distance from our house, and we've been really thrilled with how lovely it is and how great the weather's been. According to an annual report from Governor Kathy Hochul's office, the state made $88 billion off of tourism altogether. $725 million of that came from the Thousand Islands region. Some of that money spent on lodging, dining and shopping. The Berardas come up from downstate every Labor Day weekend for the past 15 years. There's something about being on the river and just the water up here. It's just it's so unique and special. So we have a 15 year old and 17 year old. They've been coming up since they were since they were tiny. It's uh, something that we've been doing for a long time. There's three families that typically try to get together. Besides knowing how much people are spending in the Thousand Islands region, the Thousand Islands Tourism Council Director Corey Fram says the region gets more overnight visitors than any Anywhere else in the state. Knowing that our overnight visitors are outpacing our day trippers, that gives us good confidence to know that there's employment opportunities and there's business opportunities and lodging, hotels, motels, B&Bs, short-term rentals, campgrounds, cabins, and all those kind of places. In 2023, a total of $331 million was spent by visitors in Jefferson County, according to Hochul's office. As for Courtney, she says this won't be the last time they visit. I'd love to come back. I mean, it's been really nice. Sandy Torres, 7 News.